Hey guys, uh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to do an update video. It's been several weeks. Oh, this is my, my third week on, on my CrossFit journey, my CrossFit adventure, my CrossFit venture, you know, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and uh, you know, I started off by giving you guys a list of different things that I was going to be doing, uh, the months I'd be doing them in, and kind of working my way through it. If you want to check that out, you know, I'm sure you can check up here, and I'll, I'll probably post it there so you can see that 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 initial video where you got an understanding of what was happening. I just wanted to give you an update on that. The, the last few months, the last month and a half, I've been doing a lot of weightlifting. Been really, really trying to tighten the technique on some of the weightlifting aspects. Um, in, in really trying to push myself in terms of load. I've always been a person that never went to a, a uh, super maximal range. So for those of you who don't know, like maximal is like the max you can lift super maximal being above that. So I've never been that person that's trained to that extent. I've just trained to a certain amount of weight or load and just said, okay, that's good enough. Uh, so, so now I've really been trying to push myself. So the last month and a half, I've really been incorporating that into my training and you know, I can, I can honestly say I've seen an incremental amount of, of a jump. I still haven't trained to my maximum potential yet, I guess, but I've seen an incremental consistent jump in my numbers and it's and it's definitely translated to my confidence in some of the some of the Olympic the Olympic lifts and that's something I'm really proud of. So what I'm gonna be doing now is is I'm gonna be trans uh, transferring my, my skill set over to gymnastics. So you're gonna be seeing a lot of posts, a lot of videos uh, of me doing some gymnastics training like I was doing um, some wall walks. For those of you who don't know what a wall walk is, you'll probably see a video of me doing it soon enough. But basically, you're upside down, facing the wall, so your your head and your body are facing inward towards the wall, and you walk your feet up towards the wall, and you just basically stand up, and you're essentially engaging your shoulders and your lats, trying to stabilize. You can do a little uh, uh, shoulder taps if you want as well, whatever kind of works. But I was doing some wall walks last week, and I was really impressed because over the last, it's gonna be now the end of my third month, month of actually preparation for this over the last you know three months I've lost a ton of weight and I can tell uh, because I feel a lot more cohesive with my movement for me to be able to do a wall walk before I'm sure I could definitely have done it but maybe once and I'd be burnt out because of the amount of load my arms were taking so I'm pretty impressed with myself to be able to get up there and do it numerous times with confidence so I'm definitely getting back to that more athletic self that I was uh, at some point in life or maybe I never was at but it's definitely getting back to that place so you know gymnastics is going to be the key uh, some of the things i'm going to be working on in the next few weeks as well i just had a wad it was um it was uh 50 total bars and then it was single leg lunges it was like 10 lengths of single leg lunges 50 total bars you only had 10 minutes i can tell you right now if you had 10 hours 50 total bars is still it's still tough for me. For those of you who don't know what a toe to bar is, you have the bar in front of you, you're grabbing it, you're bringing your toes to the bar. It's not a lie. It's called the toe to bar for a reason. But uh, they were very, very tough. Uh, and and uh, a large a large reason for that is that I'm, I'm, I'm very heavy. So very, very heavy in general. Lots of muscle mass, lots of density. So they were tough to get through, particularly in that set period of time. And I got a little bit of feedback afterwards saying that, you know, you're so strong that you're trying to muscle the movement. And it's not about muscling the movement. It's about being synchronized and really tightening up some of those aspects of the pulling and the kicking that go together. So I was just kind of in a dead hang trying to bring my toes to the bar, which made it an inefficient movement. The goal is to contract the lats, get into that beat swing posture, momentum, and bring your, your toes up in that retrospect. So you're almost closing the gap or closing the angle at a more efficient rate, and therefore you can have a faster turnover. So I was doing some toe to bars. I'm gonna really be practicing those over the next little bit. I'm gonna be incorporating the last two things that I'm not able to do. People tell me all the time, I used to hear this chatter, oh, you know, you're so big, you'll never be able to do a muscle up. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm eventually gonna do a muscle up. Don't know where it's gonna happen or when it's gonna happen, but I'm gonna do it uh, at this weight. And then you'll be like, wow, this guy's the first guy I've seen who's able to do it. It's pretty awesome. Uh, and also a handstand push up. I think I can do a handstand push up now. I can probably do a number of them now. I've just never tried. It's kind of an awkward movement to just go and try, especially if you never 
done it. You don't want to be falling all over the place and people are like, what is this guy trying to do? So uh, you're going to see me training it over the next few weeks, really trying to tighten it up. So I'm excited about entering the gymnastics portion. So what's gonna happen, if you remember from the from the sheet, we're going to heavy, heavy gymnastics, heavy, heavy cardio, uh, vascular cardio respiratory training. So I'm already doing about three to five K um, once a week and then I'm doing some intermittent runs of 400, 800 meters in my training. I'm probably gonna bump that up to about three to five K twice a week and then 400, 800 meter runs. I'm not gonna do any more than that. For the skills that I'm looking for, I'm not interested in you know middle to long distance running. I'm interested in short distance, or well, relatively short distance running and speed and tempo. The One of the biggest things I recognize is that I'm, a, okay runner so if we talk about the best runner we talk about the worst runner i'm like okay so i'm not good i'm not average yet i would say i'm okay another reason me being so heavy um, that being said um, if you add in running and weight training my weight training i'm above average but when you add in running it makes me subpar so what i need to do is figure out how to be able to pace my breathing and pace my heart rate, control my heart rate to the point where I can go for a run for an inordinate period of time and come back and focus on what needs to be done and not just be gassed and winded and need two, three minutes because that's where I will lose with these wads. So that's gonna be the next focus is going to be gymnastics approach and a lot of cardiovascular, cardiorespiratory training. I'm gonna lay off some of the heavy, heavy load and focus on really building some of the fundamentals. You're obviously still gonna see me lifting but it's not going to be the cornerstone to my my workouts. Uh, the last exciting news that I have is um, I was asked to be a part of my my uh, CrossFit team's wad. So uh, my CrossFit my yeah my CrossFit boxes uh, team. <laughs> I don't know where the team walk came from, but my CrossFit, my CrossFit boxes team. So essentially, you know, when it comes to, uh, I'll say it like the most elite athletes in the box, you obviously want them to be together uh, when you're competing at tournaments, events, at the regionals, the open, the games. And uh, I was finally asked to kind of be a part of that. So I'm going to be training with the top guys at the box now. And we're going to be kind of working towards the team goal of being better and 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 uh, really competing at a high level. So I'm, I'm definitely excited about that um, and, and, and that's about it I just want to check in and, and, and give you another games ready uh, clip so you know what's happening in the next few weeks what I have going on we're gonna do a little bit of a grocery shop so you're gonna see what I'm eating right now um, we're gonna do a little bit of uh, gymnastics. As I mentioned, you're gonna see a lot of my gymnastics uh, movement. And you're also gonna see a stretching routine. You're gonna see what my my deload time periods, well, it's not really a deload day, deload time periods look like. So in between workouts, if I have a workout in the morning and the evening, what I'm doing in between that to kind of get myself ready. It's getting warmer outside, so you're gonna see a lot of outdoor stuff. Uh, be excited. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for following. It's going to be great. It's been another Games Ready, and we'll see you all next week. Take it easy, guys.